Sub lesson 10.2, troubleshooting a boot issue. Let's show an example of a computer that won't boot to Windows, the most devastating problem that could occur, I suppose. One error message you might encounter is boot MGR is missing. The Windows boot manager, boot MGR, is a file located in the root of the C drive or whatever drive you installed Windows to and it manages the boot process and points to other files that load up Windows. It's a single point of failure, so if this file fails, then uh, you got problems, and without it, the system has no hope of starting up. One way to repair this is to boot to the System Repair Options, SRO, and run the Startup Repair. We'll discuss other options once we fix the problem. Let's demonstrate this now. I've rebooted my Windows 7 computer, and you can see here that it did not boot to Windows. Instead, it says boot MGR is missing. Press Control Alt Delete to restart. Now, I don't care how many times you press Control Alt Delete restarting the system, you're still going to get that error. Boot MGR is missing. So we need to fix the problem. And uh, by the way, I created this problem by simply deleting the boot MGR file from the root of C. So we need to fix it now. And I'm going to do that by booting to the uh, optical disk that has the installation media. So I am actually going to press Control Alt Delete. Goes through the BIOS. And when it asks to press any key for the CD, I'll press a key now. And that'll boot up the system. I'm going to bypass everything that we showed before and uh, go directly to the system recovery options. Okay, we've booted to the system recovery options. And the recovery tool we want to use is that startup repair. We'll click the link now, and it's going to automatically search for problems. And it showed a little command prompt there real quick. And it tells us, okay, restart your computer to complete the repairs. So we'll click finish now. That'll restart the system. And it's booting into Windows. So a basic startup repair fixed the problem. However, that might not always fix the problem. There are other methods of repair. And uh, let's talk about those now. I'm going to jump back. I'm going to pause here. And I'm going to jump right back to the system recovery options. Okay, we're back in the system recovery options here. So I just fast forwarded right back to it. Now, again, the original issue was that the boot manager was missing. That file was missing from the root of C because I deleted it. But we fixed the problem by running a startup repair. And that's the first method that you want to try when uh, trying to fix these problems. But there are other methods as well. The second method would be to rebuild the boot configuration data store. And you would do that by accessing the command prompt within the system recovery options. And this is a great tool. We can work in the command line right from the bootable media. It drops you into a path X colon. The X drive is really just a variable. It's whatever your optical drive is, but the Windows recovery environment just calls it X. And it puts you in the sources folder where you can get information which can help you repair things. You can run commands from here. And you'll see that by default, it starts it in elevated mode and you're set up as an administrator. Think of the havoc that you could wreak from this window. And this is another reason to make sure that you modify your BIOS boot order and make that hard drive first. And, you know, don't even allow optical drives or USB flash drives to be booted from within the BIOS. And then password protect that BIOS so that uh, nobody can mess with you. So anyways, we're here to fix the problem. And uh, we mentioned the first way to fix it. The second way is rebuilding that BCD, the boot configuration data. And you do that with the boot rec command. Space, rebuild BCD. And if we press enter, it'll scan for Windows installations. In this case, this isn't going to work because it doesn't actually find the Windows installation that we want because we just have a basic Windows installation. The BCD doesn't need to be reinstalled. It doesn't need to be rebuilt. But that's a possibility, especially if you have multiple operating systems uh, within your one computer's hard drive, if you're doing a multi-boot 
a dual boot or a tri boot. The third way is to run the system restore option and restore the computer to an earlier point in time. And that system restore point may remember the system with the boot MGR file in the root of C. It may not. It depends. The fourth option is to use the startup repair option, but from the pre-installed recovery option on your computer. If you had previously installed WinRE to your system, then you could do it that way as well. But if you didn't, then you got to do it off of the bootable media. And there's one other possibility, and this is also done in the command prompt. Let's say you had Windows, uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8 installed, and later on you installed an older version of Windows, which did some weird things to the boot sector. You might run a boot rec space slash fix boot. And if we press enter for that, it says the operation completed successfully. What exactly does this do? The boot rec slash fix boot writes a new boot sector to the system partition, meaning in this case, the C drive where Windows is, is installed. And it writes one that's compatible with, with Windows Vista 7 or 8. So you want to use this option if you know, you have this problem with an older version of Windows being installed, which uses the NT loader instead of the boot manager file. Also, if the boot sector is damaged, you could use this. Or uh, if the boot sector was replaced with a non-standard Windows boot sector. Uh, I should say a non-standard boot sector that's not Windows. So you have a lot of reasons you might use the boot rec space slash fix boot. You might also have a need to run boot rec slash fix MBR. This rewrites a master boot record to the system partition. It doesn't overwrite the existing partition table, but it rewrites the MBR. If we press enter, that completes successfully as well. So several options here for repairing the system. There's one other way to fix the problem Getting back to the boot MGR issue, there's one other way to fix that, and that's to take a known good boot MGR file from a Windows 7 computer and copying it to this system from this window. And, you know, you could do that from flash drive or from optical disk or what have you. And the one thing you have to remember with that is you should grab it from a computer that's running the same version of Windows 7, uh, you know, whether it's 32 or 64 bit and the same service pack, and you should be able to fix the problem that way as well. So lots of ways to fix a boot, a boot manager is missing or a boot manager is corrupt issue. Now that we've fixed the problem here, uh, I'm going to exit out of the command prompt. Just type exit and enter, and then restart the system. And we'll make sure that it boots. Always want to test to make sure the system will reboot, make sure it works properly. And we'll do a start Windows normally. Sometimes you'll get a little message with that saying it didn't shut down properly. That's actually due to my virtual machine. That's okay. But it is booting, so we're good. So that's about it for this sub lesson. Thanks for watching and listening.